Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today is going to be my TBR takedown for February, the stats. So in January I did a full video with my haul and my wrap up and everything all together and this month there was just too many books and it was going to be too big. So I did a haul video which I will link and a wrap up video which I will also link and this video is just basically a stats video. I may do a little bit of an unhaul at the end of this but we'll see what happens. So first I'm going to go over the books that I hauled for the month, add that into the total, subtract the ones that I read, and then we'll see where we're at and I'll decide if I want to do an unhaul today to make me feel better about my life. Let's get to it. Whoops. Again, if you want to know more about these books, just check out the haul or the wrap up videos. So I hauled on the come up by Angie Thomas. Blood Witch by Susan Dinner, technically three copies but I'm only counting one. Volumes five and six of the witch graphic novels. Stars Above by Marissa Meyer which is a bind up of novellas for the Lunar Chronicles. The Winter Sister by Megan Collins. And The Shadowhunters Codex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis which I'm also not counting because this is like a reference guide versus like an actual book that I need to read. It's more of like a collector's thing so it doesn't count. It's my game. I make up the rules live with it. So counting what I plan to count that adds six books to my TBR shelves which I guess I should mention started out at 237 books. Adding in the six that I'm going to count from this that gives us 243 books on my shelves that have not been read. Okay let's count the books that I read and then subtract those out and maybe I'll feel a little better about my life but probably not. So I read On the Come Up by Angie Thomas, Blood Witch, by Susan Dennard, Slayer by Kirsten White, The Wicked King by Holly Black, The Vanishing Stare by Maureen Johnson, The Third Twin by CJ O Something, and Dangerous Creatures and Dangerous Deception by Kemi Garcia and Margaret Stoll. That means I've read eight books which gets us down to 235 which means I have to read like 23 books a month to finish on time. This is stressful. Oh wait no I have 235 books which means I get to subtract 113 because that's what I want to have at the end of the year. Feeling better about my life. So that leaves me with 122 which means I have to read like 12 books a month which is way better than 22. <laughs> okay I can breathe again. I could do better than that. Let's do an unhaul. I know there are some books that I know for sure that I want to unhaul so I'm gonna grab those and we're gonna do an unhaul and then we'll see where we sit. Let's do that. I picked out a stack of books that I want to unhaul for sure and we'll subtract those from the total. Maybe this will take off like one book a month that I have to read to reach my goal. Let's just do it. The first is The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. I read Angels and Demons earlier this year and I didn't like it so I'm not going to read this book. Next is Something Borrowed by Emily Giffen and this was gifted to me by a friend and I just don't like the premise of this at all. It's like two best friends and the main character her friends are getting married, her best friend's getting married and she ends up sleeping with her fiance and falls in love with him and I'm just not all about that. I don't really care how the story turns around to make life better after that. I am not interested. This is only going to count as two books because I've read two of these. So I've read The Maze Runner and The Scorch Trials but I did not like them enough to continue on with The Death Cure or the kill order. Just don't like it. I'm going to unhaul the entire box set even though only two of them will count towards my total because I've already read two of them. The next two are both compilations that I got in like a giant box that I bought a million and a half years ago of Laurel K. Hamilton stuff and I'm not going to read either one of these so. Speaking of Laurel K. Hamilton books, I'm unhauling all 10 of these. I think these are like books 10 through 20. 10, I don't know. I, I just I have a lot of Laurel K. Hamilton books and I'm not reading them anymore because I don't like them. So I'm gonna set this giant stack of books down. So for reference I'll just hold this one book. I started reading the Anita Blake series three or four years ago. It's been a minute. I read them because I really liked her Mary Gentry series, like her fairy series. I loved and I really enjoyed like the first three or four books of the Anita Blake series. I've read up to book nine. I recommend stopping at six. They just become glorified sex on the page which is fine if that's what you're looking for but I liked the original Anita Blake stories because of the crime aspect of it that is no longer there and I'm not going to waste my time reading the rest of the series so I'm just going to unhaul it because I know I'm not going to read it and there's no point in taking up space on my shelves when I could go to someone else who's actually going to enjoy the series. So that's 16 books that I can take off of where we're at. Let's try that. So that gets us down to 106 books that I need to read by the end of the year. Ten and a half books a month. So if I read ten and a half books a month and don't buy anymore, 
yeah, right. And I don't unhaul anything else. It's ten and a half a month. We're gonna have to have some really good reading months here, guys. Some real good reading months. That is the TBR takedown stats for February. And hopefully March is a better reading month than February because I only read like eight books in February and I think only seven in January. But I have some chunkers that I need to read this month. So that is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos twice a week. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!